How everybody doing today? Everybody good? That's good. That's good. <laughs> today that damn sun hitting out there, bit. So you gonna stay in the shade. You gonna go ahead and finish up that damn chicken track that I started last weekend. Uh, I really don't know what the hell I'm gonna do next. But I guess we go over there and figure that shit on out. Nah, but for real, this is actually like one of my favorite things to do when it comes to building my homestead is literally, you know, having a rough draft in my mind and just letting the shit flow. You know, it's not like it's anything that's in dire need to happen. It's literally just letting your creativity flow and adding on to your little homestead. I grew up around dudes that build. Um, and of course, I do stone masonry, so I build like patios, walkways, and retaining walls. So I have the foundational stuff down. I never did carpentry. I see my uncles do it. Um, always watched. And I'm a very visual person, so if I see somebody do something a number of times, I can easily mimic it. Um, but yeah, when it comes to this stuff, it's just fun. Uh, it's a good way to quiet your mind, let your creativity expand. Um, I honestly feel like that's what we're here for. And nowadays, we're just so caught up in consuming shit instead of creating. All right, so show y'all how my mind works. Like I said, I'm not a carpenter, so I do shit how my mind figures it out. So I got 24-inch chicken wire. So if I was to run 24 inches, it'd be right here and then right here, and it'll leave me about a two inch gap, two to three. I haven't measured it, but roughly. So I'm gonna take another two by four and put it here. Um, basically giving me a level place to, you know, nail my chicken wire to instead of rolling it over this edge right here anyway. And that's gonna stabilize this. I hope I explained that good enough. If not, oh well, that's, that's how my mind works. <laughs> so. Got everything mapped out now. Now I need to figure out where I'm gonna put a couple chicken boxes. I wanna put like three because there's only gonna be five hens in here. So I need to figure out where I'm gonna put that. And then where I'm gonna put the lid, I mean the door, which I basically think I'm gonna put right here and lift up. Or maybe I might lift it down, I don't know yet. All right, so got everything figured out. Know where I wanna put my chicken box. Don't know how the hell I'm gonna close it in on the sides yet. Um, I guess we'll figure that out here soon. Got the chicken box up. Now I got the wire going. Almost done. All right, y'all. So this is what we got for the day. Got the wire on the back side. Didn't do the front yet because I still want to decide how I'm, how I'm going to do the door. I think I'm going to do. Yeah, I don't know. All right, y'all. So we back at it. Been out here focusing a little bit. Got the door situated. How are we going to get in there to water them and all that good stuff? Um, next, I think I'm going to put like a little hinge right here where this is just flap down and I can reach in there and get the eggs. Um, I'll probably close this side up so they'll have a nice heavy shaded area. I'm going to put the tarp over the rest of it, but that sun will still get through the tarp a little bit, but that thick wood like that, they'll have some nice shade in one side of the coop. All right, y'all, so got the chicken box done. Use a nail to make sure it doesn't fly open. Something simple. Didn't want to use one of my latches for it, so that do. I'm gonna get in that bitch. Now I just gotta put the side on here, then put the wire on, and we done. Voila, so y'all. That's a finished product for the day. You know, I still want to put wheels on it eventually. I need to go get a tarp and put it on it. I'll probably just put one of my wood tarps on it for this week, and then next weekend I'll go and get one. It's probably about 200 pounds, if I had to say. I can drag with one arm, so. I put a little off in it, but she's good to go. All right, so that just whooped my ass, brings it down here. So it should be easy now that it's in grass, but I had to pull it through that damn gravel. So since this area right here is right in front of my little watermelon patch that I'm experimenting with, I'll just have them go up the fence line, knock this shit down that I don't want to weed eat. Let's bring their ass out here. God damn it, with my ass. So this one is a little I Am Samani mixed with Survivor. And that is a gorgeous combination. Look at her eyes. It's a pretty ass hen. Shut your ass up. That damn noise. Got a little rooster right here, basically the same color. Be a little pretty boy when he grew up. Interested to see how he gonna turn out. The colors on this one is crazy. Look at that. Can't wait to see what that looks like when it grows up. The hill? New cage, you ain't getting out of there, buddy. Get to work now, y'all. Get to work. Get that grass on down for me. I appreciate y'all.
Thank Pico, man. You think I did a good job? I think so. They already getting a little comfortable. Some pecking at the grass. Some getting some nice aqua. That's how you get some shit done right there, baby. That's going to have to be their shade till I go get my damn tarp for them. I don't feel like going over town today, so that's what I had to do.